Spain has achieved 100% renewable energy. Yeah! In this video, we will look into how did Spain achieve this. Spain first hit 100% renewable energy in 16 May 2023. This lasted from 12 noon to 1 pm and again from 3.30 evening to 5.30 in the evening. Let's have a look at what the 100% renewables was comprised of. Apologies for my non-existent Spanish. No hablo español. Eolica likely refers to wind energy. Solar photovoltaica stands for solar PV. Solar thermica represents solar thermal energy. Thermica renewable may imply thermal renewable sources like geothermal maybe. Hydraulica is hydropower, and we see it absorbing energy during high renewable energy timings to be safe for later. Yeah, very good. I'm also curious to know what other energy sources does Spain have. Cogeneration likely means the cogen. Turbina di vapor suggests steam turbine, possibly indicating coal. Although there's a small chance that it is gas, but it's not an efficient setup. Turbina di gas is probably gas turbine. Motores diesel likely refers to diesel generators or distillate. Carbon is, uh, yeah, I do not know what is there. Nuclear is um, pretty clear. Intercambios implies interconnection, like covering imports and exports. So during the period of 100% renewables, or in Spanish, renewables, were the conventional generators still running? Yes, it is pretty normal when a system hits 100% renewable energy achievement for the first time. It likely has these three characteristics. Number one, high overgeneration. The system generates more power than what the system actually requires. Number two, conventional coal, gas, or nuclear is still running in the background. And number three, uh, what they do is they export out the non renewables and then you declare yourself 100% renewable energy for a sensational headline. Coal, gas, and diesel machines were not shut down during this so called 100% renewable achievement. So the 100% renewable energy title is basically a win on technicality. But don't get me wrong, the effort they put into this energy transition is definitely commendable. So how did they get to this point? Spain's energy landscape evolved over the years. From the 1990s and the 2000s, Spain relied on mainly coal and nuclear. By 2010, wind came into the picture as a significant player. In 2022, they realized that they have a lot of sun, so they invested quite a bit into solar. And solar came up strong. Also, they have been quietly phasing out coal. Coal is pretty much gone at this point. Well, they already did it once on 16 May 2023. How many times did they achieve 100% renewable energy again? Like, even though on a technicality? Well, they actually never did. Not even that close. While that may be gloomy, it was not one of those fake 100% renewable moments. Like Germany's 5 a.m. New Year 100% renewable nonsense. Yeah, that is just nonsense, man. If anything, Spain is genuinely ahead and leading the pack. We can see it from the overall numbers. The thing is that they'll be facing challenges that other systems may not have faced before and will need to explore the solution on their own instead of referring to some other case. Even the problems they have, let's say for example solar curtailment. Germany also has solar curtailment issues and they have a stronger law to ensure that solar curtailment is the last possible action to take and they have tied it up to a financial impact. Spain also has solar curtailment, but the nature of the problem is totally different. Germany curtails their renewables due to network congestion. They do not have enough capacity in the transmission lines to transport the renewable energy throughout their network in a stable manner. Spain curtailed their solar because they do not have enough energy demand. It was a public holiday and factories and offices were closed, and generally the demand is lower. They produce too much energy and can't put it anywhere else. The exports are full and so is the pump storage. Overall, Spain has taken great measures and achieved milestones after milestones. What I can't take out of fake nonsense like this. Corporations declaring themselves as 100% renewables via buying some nonsense green certificate. These fake ass m****. That's enough of that for now. I will get into that in another video. Spain, good job. Vodafone Spain, not really. You're watching the Funsi channel. Do, 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 do.